Hail and well met. I am Mr. Eager DM at your service, and we welcome you one and all to Trapped at Home, a live stream Dungeon and Dragons broadcast presented by Lawful Stupid RPG. Thank you for being here to witness our playthrough of Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. Joining us, as always, we have Typhon the Wizard, Rim the Ranger, Persephone the Bard, Falcron the Cleric, Jax the Rogue, and Silas the Paladin Fighter. How I've come to know and love them all. Too bad it had to end like this. <laughs> <laughs> A word or two about hell. Dungeons and Dragons in general and Forgotten Realms in particular have their share of horrible monsters. Gruesome undead, witches, beasts, dragons, insane wizards, fanatics, all sorts of terrible things. With so much evil and danger in the prime material plane, what must hell be like? In a word, horrifying. There is torture, both physical and spiritual. There are creatures that enjoy devouring the innocent and who are excited by the suffering of others. There is eternal slavery. There is genocide and so forth. The worst elements of real life are reflected for us here through a dark mirror that distorts and enhances. Therefore, it is important that there is an understanding amongst all of us, viewer and player alike, that whenever such things are presented during our game, it is never intended as glorification rather as obstacles to be overcome, endured, or put down. Finally, while hell is considered to be a real place by some, in the eyes of this dungeon master, everything that is described during the coming chapters is complete and total fiction. Thank you. Very well. <laughs> You're Father was a hamster. And your mother, mother smelt of elderberries. elderberries. And now it's and a now we can start the game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my friends, it is time. I extend my hand, inviting you to step with me into fantasy. Release your hold on that which you know to be true, and let imagination rule for the next few hours. Last time the adventurers, now known as Conscript Group 14, took stock of themselves and began piecing together what all has been occurring in Baldur's Gate. Silas spoke with his estranged father. Rim pledged his faith to the god Bahamut. Falcron interred the ashes of Bent's Eltan. Jax got drunk. Persephone looked for magic items. And after nearly being killed by the infernal puzzle box, Typhon was visited by a priest of Mask and informed that a certain person of interest was no longer in Baldur's Gate. The adventurers sought out Corcoran Pebblemoss, the high priest of Ogma. He and his colleague Silvira Silvacus from Candlekeep helped them safely open the internal puzzle box in exchange for the Shield of the Hidden Lord, a powerful artifact that threatened to corrupt all around it. From the box, they learned that the entire city of El Torel had been sacrificed to the archdevil Zariel by its high overseer, Thabius Krieg. They learned that it had been taken en masse to the first layer of the Nine Hells of Vernus. With no time to waste, lest the thousands of souls trapped in El Torel empower Zariel to the point of invincibility, Conscript Group 14 decided to travel to Avernus to see what might be done. Father Pebblemoss created a simulacrum of himself, and it transported the adventurers to the fallen city. But at the last moment, the Holyfont Lulu joined the circle and was transported as well. Oh, Lulu. Darkness. A maelstrom. A sensation of helpless falling. Nausea. This is what drowning must feel like, but you feel so dry, so brittle, so small. 
the roaring wind fades to a low rumble, and you become aware of your feet standing on solid ground. You take a shaky breath, which turns into a gasp as your lungs are coated, coated with acrid dust. You open your tearing eyes and see you are standing in a street lined with buildings that are crumbling, if not already collapsed. The ground suddenly shudders and you struggle to keep your feet as more masonry cracks and tumbles around you. The sky is red and hazy, like the first rays of dawn viewed through smoke. And hanging a thousand feet above you, a huge sphere of pulsating darkness slowly turns in a glowing vortex of bluish mist. As you watch, it discharges a bolt of lightning that streaks across the sky, striking somewhere unseen in the city with a distant boom. From where you stand, you can see a crumbling fortress perched atop a distant bluff. Far away, you hear muffled explosions, screams, and roars. Closer, there is indistinct shouting from something monstrous. Conscript Group 14, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to immediately step in and uh, behind the doppelganger. I forgot what you called him. What was the spell? Um, I'm going to whisper thank you in his ear, and I'm going to snap his neck. No, don't bitch. <laughs> uh, all right. Make an attack roll, please. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, that would be an unarmed strike. Is that correct? Indeed. Now that is a hit. Roll your damage. All right. That is six bludgeoning damage. Or, excuse me. Yeah, six bludgeoning, I was supposed to. Um, try, try again. A little, little harder this time. <laughs> oh, shall I do it? Please, everyone, have a shot. <laughs> oh, stab him. Oh, the uh, 13 is also a hit, Rim. Another six. Uh, I'm nearly there. Nearly there. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> uh, You're I only got... Th what might you? I should have advantage. Yeah, everyone has advantage. He's uh, 25. <laughs> uh, that's a hit. Yes, how much damage? No, the, the, that... that was the damage. Oh, that was the oh, damage? No, it no, 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 that was the hit. Um, 23 damage. <laughs> ah. And all of a sudden, the color and what seems so clearly to be flesh melts away from the ice. And all that is standing there is an ice sculpture of Corcoran Pebble Moss. Holding a staff, and wearing a cloak. Like a real one or an ice one? Real. These were the items given to him by the real Corcoran Bebelmas so that he didn't have to travel in the buff. Ah. Hmm. Um, I'm I will... Go ahead and... I'll oh, take... go ahead. Um, I'll gather up the staff and the cloak. and uh, the, cloak the cloak seems like it might have something in its pocket. I check the pocket of the cloak. There is a stone. It has a very small carving of a uh, face with an open mouth. Maybe that's our way back. Or at least possibly communicating with Corcoran. How big is Lulu? Like Hello? she is she is small. Um, and she's sort of flying around, just sort of like, she's I, around. okay. Huh. Seems familiar. Seems uh, familiar. Lulu, you're not safe here. Uh, get in my hand. Oh, no, 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 no. She could stay. We could eat her later. Don't don't ever go near him. <laughs> she comes and she lands in your hand. She says, I don't know your name. And I say, it's Persephone. I don't know your, I know your name. <laughs> I say, all right, you are the cutest thing in the whole world, but you are in hell and it's my fault. So I'm going to protect you. And I like, <laughs> try and put her like a little inside my shirt so that she can still see, but she's more protected. <laughs> Feels warm. I want to kill it, and I want to kill it now. <laughs> Jax, don't you dare. Yeah. Rhea is standing there looking around very nervously. And Welcome she... home, Mel Rider. <sighs> that... that was my uncle's house. Oh, they're all right. We should, we should get off the street. 
let us go uh, to your uncle's house. Oh, there's it's completely complete ruin. It's a, just a crumble of stone. And as you're watching, there's a a burst of flame that pops up briefly and then subsides. Let's Ray. not go to your uncle's house. <sighs> I'll take around. a thought. Ray, like where, do you, where do you recommend? Where is a safe place uh, for us to look retreat? around for a building that's intact for the moment? What can we see, Sean? Make a perception check. All right. All right. Oh, oh, I'll have a look. Oh, I did find this on the way here. Or did I grab it from the desk? I can't remember. And there was a whistle I've got in my hand. It is a whistle. All right. I rolled a 14 for perception. 24 for perception. I got an oh, eight. Nice. Uh, there is obviously a uh, a, par- a a building close by that seems to be not quite as affected. Uh, we will shall move we move quickly towards that building? Yeah. All right. Um, is uh, is the staff something that could be used as an arcane focus? Is that what it was essentially? Um, it has the potential. It seems to be very well made. Okay. Um, the cloak is a fine thread. Uh, yeah. It has a slight yellowish tinge to it. Hmm. Um, yeah, you duck inside. Duff for the time being. Falcon. Uh, oh, ab- absolutely, Typhon, mm-hmm. if you think it would be of some assistance to you. Okay. Um, you duck inside this building. Um, the seems to be somewhat uh, intact. Um, there, Everything on the ground floor that, sh- that you can see here is uh, uh, that is breakable, has broken. Uh, crockery on the ground, uh, windows have shattered, but it is in interior space, but dark. And uh, Lulu, in your cloak, um, Persephone, peeks out and goes, hmm. and her nose comes up and scratches her, uh, her head, and she sticks it straight out in front of her and crosses her eyes and goes, and all of a sudden, her nose boing, begins to glow. She has cast the light spell. Oh my god, I love her so much. <laughs> <laughs> I will also go ahead and activate the light spell on my Warhammer. All right, this uh, this abandoned, really hard to make out exactly what it is, just from standing here looking at all the broken furniture and detritus, but uh, it is very well lit. All right. Can we hear uh, any noises coming from within the house? Make a perception check. Oh. Where's perception? That's a 23. You cannot hear anything. Another 14. Man, man, I'm consistent. (laughs) Um, We're on the bottom floor. Does it look like there's a basement? Um, Not accessible from this room. But uh, Rhea calls you all over. She says, all right. The city is, is quite large. It's bigger than Baldur's Gate. Um, we're on the, the eastern side, um, close to the too close to the wall, I think. It's, it's so difficult to make out with uh, everything that's been destroyed. But that, I'm fairly certain that was my uncle's house. So I believe that that puts us somewhere over on the eastern side. I think we should try to make for the high hall. Um, it will be the place where if, if there's any defense of any sort, that, that'll be where that'll be where they'll they'll try and concentrate. It's the most defensible place in the city that, that I can think of. Well, but we find ourselves in a strange place of everyone here. You are the only one that would know the way, so lead the way. Oh, I'll find yes. the way, don't worry. I, I, I will. Um, there is a ravine in between the two uh, two halves of the city, um, and there's two ways to get across it, two bridges. Um, there's one farther to the north, and there's one right in the middle of the city. I, we should try to gather as many survivors as we can find on our way. If we find any. We will start by simply going in the correct direction. I think we should really look for some. These are my people. We will. That's why we're here. Uh, I can look if you like. 
say, Rhea, the best way for us to help all of El Terrell is to get it out of hell. And so the quicker we can solve this problem. So I, I think making our way to High Hall and helping those who we find along the way, and say, most definitely, but we should not go searching until we know the answers that we seek. Make a persuasion check with advantage. Mm -hmm. Ah, 16 with my advantage. 16 is a success. All right. right. Everyone keep a close ear open, I guess. Of course, of course. And Lulu has her ear. (laughs) Damn, that thing is cute. Ah. I know. And I brought it to hell. And I'm really sorry. And we have to protect it. She nuzzles into you a little bit. (laughs) As you are preparing to leave, a woman's scream can be heard close by. Please! Please, someone help us! Shall we? Let's move. Absolutely. Off we go. All right. Make, uh, we start to head in the direction towards the sound. Is All right. It? You step out of this building, and running around the corner, you see a woman carrying a toddler in one arm and a slightly younger toddler in the other uh, carrying it. And as she's running, you see behind her, lumbering, laughing, moving at a medium pace, three of the bearded devils that you encountered in Bantampur Villa. Oh, they're just what they big hips like. again, aren't they? How far away are we, Sean? Um, about 100 feet. I'm going to roar to try to draw their attention. Nice. Sure. I will hide. Sure. So talk about announcing our presence. That's <laughs> so Rim yeah. lets out a uh, mighty roar. The woman, eyes wide, startled, drops the hand of her toddler and runs forward a few more feet before realizing that the other toddler has been left behind. And the three bearded devils behind. Let's see. Did I just show you the? Yes, there. I didn't want to show you that. I wanted to show you the picture of them. <gasps> Do you see them now? Yes. All right. yes. They're all cool. bearded and deviled. Excellent. They come running towards you and them. And if you will be so kind, we will roll initiative. Yeah. Where shall we position my ourselves? Token. Do you see each other? You see yourselves in there? It, oh, they're there. there. Got to zoom in. So yes, you look. You appear to be on the roof, but you're actually inside that building, of course. I'm not mm-hmm. actually able to select my token for some reason. That is a problem. Uh, no, is anybody able to? Nope. Nope. Oh, no, actually. Well, that can be fixed, but it's going to take a moment. That's okay. Just, just so I can leave that we're in just a... Uh... Yeah. Let's see. Delete. 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 All right. Delete. Welcome to the broken universe. Yes. <laughs> I love <Hey>, giant jacks. <laughs> <laughs> That's my real size. Yeah. No, I, I love it. That's like, how he views himself. <laughs> so, like, in the like, this is our Power Ranger form. We all just sort of like mold up <laughs> into a giant jacks, and he's like. <laughs> so, you're are you able to drag your characters from the? Um... Yeah. Bar, make yeah, sure can. Yes. Just... You'll need to resize them, though. Yes, of course. Uh, you don't have to. Yeah, so if you go into the... <laughs> I wish there was a way that people could resize themselves. Being that big, with a stealth of 28, where did I hide? <laughs> um, if I was that you, big. You became a part of... You, you, there was a, There's a silo. You got into <laughs> the, the grain silo. All right. So we're waiting on a dwarf and on a bard. Right. Can we go ahead and do initiative once we have our tokens up? Um, sure. Let me see here. Okay, why? I think I might be able to find your characters here. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I'm... Um, uh, 
Ah, there Hey, you did it. Good job. I didn't I'm even know learning. we could do it. All right. So. Fabelhaft. All right. And initiating. Boop, 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 boop. We put oh. ourselves back on. You don't, Sean? Um, That is a way to guarantee that you are able to... I just uh, don't know how to, if you want to... Tell I'll, I'll speak through it as you do the, the sorter. So if you go in the Roll20 uh, interface next to the chat window at the very top, there's a little thing that looks like a newspaper almost. Uh-huh. If you click on that, it, it might be a mess. Um, you need to find... If you click on every minus sign uh -huh. until yeah. they're all plus signs, there's a section called player characters. Got it. If you click on player characters, you'll click and hold your icon and literally drag and drop onto the map, and there you are. Great. You did it. Thank you. There we go. And now roll initiative. Click on the token first. Hopefully it'll be better than the last one. I, I got a nine. Yeah. <laughs> I got a rock. <laughs> <laughs> now, the bearded devil's got a three. Good. Good for them. <laughs> <laughs> All You're right. Saving that child. Off we go with the top of the order with Jax at 23. Um, okay. Um, seeing that, obviously I will stealth. 5, 10, 15. Actually, I can't really do much, can I? Can they, they can't see me in here, can they? So can I have moved? No, they, then... they know that something's in there because of the roar. The but... roar, okay. Well, I'm small, so can I, can I move at normal and then hide? Uh, depends on where you want to hide, but sure. Um, what's this thing here? A fountain. That is a fountain. It is not, uh, there's no water in it. The uh, water looks brackish, has a slightly red tinge to it. Can I have moved to 25 through the window? I'm guessing there's no pain there. There is no pain. You can easily climb through it. I won't require a roll. And 30, um, and obviously hide, yeah? And hide, okay. Bonus action hide. Um, I did roll a 28 stealth beforehand okay and can i hold my action for when they come into the thing shoot them um i think so yes yes you can did, did you so you are bonus damage? action hide you have moved and now you're holding an action until you see one yeah all right well until they get close to, to the kids they... until they one tried to snatch a kid right all right that will bring us to Typhon of Hyacus. So I'm inside the house. I can mm -hmm. move past Rim and out. Is there like a specific door I would have to get to to exit? Is that the here? large? Yes, that is the door. Right. The small ones are windows. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'll get out and sort of duck a bit down behind here. Mm -hmm. um, and I will just call it run to the house. And then I will reach out and mm -hmm. yeah that's what i want to do um cast yeah um and make a earthen hand erupt actually in front of them sort of between them right about here as that good millions earthen grasp yes Does that work right there's that's great uh i was gonna have it in rain yeah actually that's good no, we're, okay. I'm obstructing, so I need a um, DC 15 strength saving throw. Very good. Two successes, I'm afraid. Okay. There's only the one target, but... Only the one target. Oh. Well, they both succeeded, so... <laughs> okay. <laughs> your, your spell DC is 15? Correct. Yeah. Um, so that brings us to... Unless you have anything else... Nope, that's it. All right, that brings us to Rim. Actually, Persephone got a higher uh, initiative than she I did. She did, didn't she? Let's. I rolled fix twice that. by accident, and then I fixed it. There we go, Persephone. Um, so I take I I like gently push Lulu all the way down so that she is completely <laughs> hidden, <laughs> and <laughs> stay down. And then five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. I can get right out here, and I'm gonna. I'm going to hold an action. Um, well, if this guy gets in range, I'm going to shoot him with my crossbow. All right. Um, Actually, he is in range, isn't he? He's in range. If you take a, a few steps to the south. Okay. You should, yeah. 
I'm going to shoot him. Go for it. Because I hate it. Uh, 24 to hit. That is a hit. Five piercing. Non-magical. Non-magical. All right. Thank you. That brings us, unless there's anything else for seven. Nope. All right. That brings us to Rim. Uh, are the windows large enough for me to hop out of? <laughs> I will require an athletics or acrobatics choice. Uh, Kool-Aid uh, man style. Your I'm choice. Gonna, I'm going to do an athletics uh, attempt. I thought you might. But it, if he fails, does he, get, does he get stuck? We'll see. A 13. Athletics, a 13. Well, you were able to wedge through. You feel the pain breaking around you, and you're through. It took away half of your movement, but you are through. Son of a bitch. Okay. Um, I'm going to be doing a dash. So moving to, uh, if moving to this one spot here uh, is 15, is that correct? So. So yeah, that took half your movement, right? And I can't move through the fountain. Is that correct? You could Oops. you could try and hop over it. Let's try that. Like do a step and a step and a step. Like it, it is a flat surface. It would be possible to get over it with an acrobatics roll. Uh, <laughs> Unless you want to just try and run right through it, which in which case it would that be athletics. Terrible, roll. terrible <laughs> idea. Okay. Um, I'm trying to do the, the snappy thing that allows me to uh, change. And it's Q, right? And that's not working for some reason. You have to click and start dragging. Yeah, it, it takes it. it out. Right. Ah, okay. Um, I think that I can here. Sorry, guys. Uh, 15. So I can use my dash, the remainder of my movement, to go through that woman and get to that boy's square. Is that yes, correct? Yes, you can. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw myself over the top of the boy to protect him. Very good. So you are now, did you make it into his square or at his square? I am into his square. So All right, I'm using so my body as a as a dragon shield. All right. Did you have enough movement to actually get to that square? Exactly enough movement to get okay. to that square. All right. So can you put yourself on top of the boy then? So, uh, somebody did it for me. Thank you for whoever did. That? There we go. All right, so you are in his square. You don't have the action economy left to do anything like grapple him, pick him up or anything like that, but you are in his square. Next, we have Silas. I'm going to move 510 through a companion, 15, 20, 25, 30. And from here, at, at a glance, not requiring a full check, but what does this woman look like? Um. She's a middle-aged, um, but still pretty, except for the fact that she's got cuts on her face. She looks um, pale. Looks like she hasn't slept in a few days. Okay, uh, good enough. Uh, I'm going to move past her then. So uh, I'm going to dash. 35, okay. 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And... I can actually, um, can I use a bonus action? Yeah, I can use a bonus action to attack, right? Um, you can use a bonus action as part of an attack action if you have a weapon equipped in your offhand. Mm, I don't. I've got the big poke now. Um, I'll stop there. I'm making myself a great target. Um, All right. All done. Anything else? All right, all done. Uh, Falkron, the cleric. Yeah, so having seen Rim crash through a window, I'm like, that looks like fun. And so I'm going to go ahead and try <laughs> to smash through a window. Make an <laughs> athletics check. The so. window that Rim smashed through is much easier to get through for you. So I do not need a uh, not need a roll. Oh, fantastic. Good, because I rolled a 10. So. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on, dude. I'm never, look at the picture. Look, he's in the wrong window. It is the wrong window. If you want to get through without rolling, then you have to go through the one that Rim Oh, no. Through. I'm definitely going to go through the Kool-Aid man-esque hole that Rim made. So, no. oh, extra oh, five feet of movement there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go through that way. And then uh, see, I've got so that's five. And then 10, 20, 20. Wait. 
wait, I'm using words and I'm not using math. Um, I think I can get to there because I'm very, we dwarfs are wasted over long so yeah. distances. One, yeah. 10, 15, 20, 25. That looks good. Okay, excellent. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and cast Toll the Dead on the uh, bearded bastard who's leading the front there. You so got it. This this fella right there. Mm -hmm. So summoning all of my... Chanty might. Uh, I need you to make a wisdom save. I will indeed make a wisdom save. I have a natural twenty. Get out. All right. Get well done. Yeah, so. So, anything else, Falkron? Um. Three bearded devils. No, no, nothing, nothing yet. Nothing All right. Yet. And I'm, 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 oh, sorry. And as, and as I get up to the woman, I'm like, it's like, like, get, get behind me, get behind me, head to the house. So, son, I know. Um, we'll, we'll... All right. At the top of this next round, all of a sudden, there's a, <laughs> a massive echoing boom that echoes all throughout the city, and there's a rumbling. You see bits of masonry beginning to collapse off of other buildings. The building that you came from, thankfully, is still standing. But I need everybody to make a athlet, uh, a acrobatics check. Oh crap! Oh great! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted you to say. Come on, big oh. number. Twenty-one for me. Mm-hmm. Twenty-seven. Dane, up good. There. My only. Oh, sixteen. Mm-hmm. What is, Looks what like is everybody <laughs> succeeded. Oh, I need to check for the. I like the clinky sound of your dice tray, Sean. Yeah. It's very dramatic. Clacky. There is a, this miniature earthquake occurs, and it feels almost as if the ground underneath you went down half a foot or so, and you <laughs> caught up with it. Everybody managed to save, including the bearded devils. Oh. <laughs> brings us to the top I, of the I, order. I bet the kids are also prone, just on condition. Um, of course, the one pe person that I didn't go, that didn't go were the bearded devils. So we will have them take their turn. Um, tell me about this spell, Typhon. Um, grasping and they if they uh, begin their turn near it. Does anything happen? No, nothing like that. Nothing like that. Nope. Okay. Well, the one standing in front of you, Silas, looks at you and goes, Ha ha! Excellent! And he slashes at you with a giant glaive. But it's not a moon glaive, though. No, it's not nearly as cool as yours. Um, hitting with an AC of 13? No, it didn't hit. Didn't hit. Then he take moon touched. So you, you managed to ping, knock it out of the way with your own moon glaive. He steps forward and his beard... A slimy mass of grasping, biting, tentacle-like creatures just goes all over you, trying to find a place to pierce into your flesh. Gross. Hitting AC 10. Mm, does not hit. The one standing... What happens if they walk onto the space, Typhon? So that is unclear to me because it, it says uh, a medium oh a medium hand so it is a i think that is meant to be medium size so there's a medium okay. sized object in that square okay it counts i assume as an opponent it's made from compacted soil i that's up to you it's it's a hand yeah. that i can control on my turn so yeah that makes sense to me it is considered so he stays where he is <clears throat> Looking down at this thing and looks over at you, Rim, and slices across it with his glaive. Does Jack see the one that moved towards Silas? It does not look to me like you have line of sight. Okay. Natural one. Yay! And breaks All the right. Glaive. I will say you do not have line of sight upon that one, Jax. However, your passive perception is 
good enough that you are able to see one sneaking around the corner to here. Ooh. He does not see you, however. I will shoot him if I can. Shoot him. Yeah. Yep, you can take your held action. Do, 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 Bring do, him do, down. Do, do, do. 19 20. is a success. 20. Oh, that was crap. 14 damage, non magic. Why do you get um, sneak it? Oh, because you were hidden, of course. Uh, 14 damage, non magical damage. He's sneaky. Sneaky. <laughs> so, what was you doing? Sneaky. Right, so he takes a shot and says, like, Ugh! Ugh! My apologies. Steps <laughs> forward with his glaive and <laughs> brings it down upon your head. Oh, shit. <laughs> The AC twenty two. Damn. Thirteen Fuck. points of slashing damage. Oh, think he takes mean. his last step forward, his beard comes snaking out. I'll use my reaction to half that. Oh actually I might use it for this one. We'll see. AC fourteen? Missed. Right. You managed to duck and weave out of the way of the beard. Can that I, brings can us I use my reaction if I would have held and stuff? Um, no, you can't actually right, because okay. you changed your reaction to their held action. Yeah. So you can't actually use reaction. So we're now to the top of the round. Whew. Which brings us to Jax. I disengage. Don't mind me. Excuse me. Five, ten, fifteen. So can I go 20 to there? You cannot go diagonally around corners. Okay, so 20. Oh. Uh, so what did I say? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Slide underneath. I know there's already a small person there. I'll slide underneath Silas. <laughs> and st st stab a bitch. I mean, stab the guy. All right. Make that attack roll, please. I've lost all my attack thing. Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, did that do anything? No. It's not working. Hang on. I don't, I don't know why it's not working all of a sudden. Hang on. Here we go. Um, 24. 24 is a hit. Uh, 18 magical. Fantastic. Nice. How's that in your leg? This is the one that's been hit, correct? This one here. Thank you. <clears throat> Very good. Anything else there, Jax? So that was my 30, my disengage. I think that's it. Your attack. Yep. Typhon Ophiacus. Would, would Rhea like to go before Typhon? Rhea will. Rhea was. <laughs> Is a or little is shaken she... by all this. Got she it. Will, she will be going on initiative 13. Got cool. it. Oh, I didn't see there. Okay. Um, hmm. Don't love this. <laughs> but, so let's. Um, but. Hmm. I will still have. Let's see. This one. Repeat the saving throw. I'll try to grasp him with the hand again. All right. I've heard that about Typhon that he's great. Typhon, is this that. a uh, this is a concentration spell, right? Mm hmm I'm going to put a um a little thing on you to signify yep. concentration. All right, so I need to make a saving throw again. Strength, yes. That is a fail. Oh, lovely. Nice. Um, Which one is it? Um I was going to do the one who has moved in a bit more. Okay. So he will take eight bludgeoning damage, and he is restrained. Interesting. Nice. Um, and then then my movement, uh, I will, uh, um, move to here. 
Uh, five, take the ten. take the attack of opportunity from his glaive. Oh, it's a, he's glaive. He's glaivey. Um, mm -hmm. No, I will not. <laughs> I will stay in his reach in that case. So, yeah. right. uh, this will be the last level that I give these little hints. I think uh, when you get to level six, no more, no more hints as far as these sort of things are concerned. At least for the veteran players. I think it'll be more fun that way. <laughs> Who are we qualifying as the veteran player? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. You're all veterans now, right? Oh, um, brings us Damn. to Persephone. All right. Um, 5, 10, 15. I'm going to go after this guy with my rapier and dagger, which unfortunately continue to be non-magical. So I'm going to have Lulu be next to you. We're going to understand that she's in your space. Yes. And I am constantly aware and like not letting her come out if I can help it. Um, <laughs> there's my rapier. Uh, an eight is not hit, I'm afraid. Does not, but here comes that dagger. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Does it. Always. Every time. What is happening? I'm thinking maybe you should put the dagger in the main hand. Clearly. And... Or just get two daggers, like, at this point. <laughs> uh, don't kill the lily. Dagger. Come on, guys. <laughs> Anything else, Persephone? Nope, that's me. Very good. Um, Rim. All right, so since uh, the guy to my southwest is restrained, that does that mm -hmm. mean that he would not have an attack of opportunity? That is correct. So only the guy that is within Glaive Reach. Right. If you are restrained, his speed is zero. Attack rolls against him have advantage, and his attack rolls have disadvantage. Okay. Um, I am going to uh, pick up the child, or attempt to pick up the child. All right. And... Uh, we will call that interact with object, and it is small, so it's not going to require you to move at half your speed to take okay. it. Okay. Uh, and I will uh, walk him back to the, or run him back to the mother, and I'll move uh, with the child to, oops, to this space here. All right. She grabs the child from you and looks as if she is getting ready to run. Into the house. She nods. Um, and with the uh, remainder, I still have uh, uh, an action left. I'm going to shoot the restrained gentleman. Mm, right, with advantage, please. All right, let's see. 17 is a hit. Uh, I'll do the other one just in case I crit. Ah, uh, so close. Not even a <laughs> All right. Uh, so the damage. Halfway there. Non-magical damage. Uh, that's 11 non-magical. Very good. And then with the remainder of my movement, um, I will uh, one, two, I have 15 feet left. I'm gonna one, two into Falcon space and then back to the other side of that fountain. And that's the end of my turn. I'm having a really I hard time didn't moving my see you move. It, I yeah. think it's probably the weather is interfering with your connection. That is the end of go. my turn where he is. Very good. The bearded devil see you pick up the child. Hey, that's ours! Rhea goes. Rhea comes running out. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She stands right there, takes up a defensive position. Let's see. That brings us to Silas. All right, just a quick question. The one directly in front of me is restrained, correct? Correct. All right, well, let's just attack him. Attacks have advantage. I'm going to use my glaive, uh, moon touched, with uh, advantage. Oh, hey, natural hey. twenty, fantastic! Nice, mm. boom! Roll that damage. First twenty in hell. That's a total of fourteen, all magic. Just barely. You you carve a large slice through his. Uh, torso and it cuts off a good portion of the beard which squirms and falls to the ground and <laughs> before eventually going limp he screams and, 
is he is he dead or just nope hurting? he's still okay. up uh in that case i'm just going to slightly reposition myself one mm -hmm. spot over <laughs> no, I, mean, I was i was just thinking like God, where's Jax? i can't see him <laughs> as i as i, I step know. over and there's a <laughs> goblin running between my legs i go oh that's right i am in hell <laughs> and i'm done silas is done falcron excellent so i'm gonna go ahead and uh sean since the kids are are, are they well i'm i'm so can i move through their spaces without suffering a penalty or like a uh, penalty it requires double uh double space all right, all right, all right. difficult all right. terrain i'm sorry <laughs> children tell me about it all right <laughs> so uh we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna try to move through this gaggle of people here so that's, one two three all right right so that, um, how much three so that's one so you have five squares of movement so you've moved three Okay, okay. So, huh? and then uh, I would like to move down. I'll now move diagonally down there to hit the guy who's You're good. Yep. to hit the guy who's restrained with mine. A herring. Yeah, <laughs> with a herring. No, um, I'm gonna hit him with my warhammer. So. Oh, is this the uh, the warhammer of Tyre or Tyr? It sure is. Excellent. That is a definitely five to hit with I'm twelve. Trying. Points of damage, one-handed. <laughs> he falls dead. What happens to a devil or a demon when they die in hell? I'm glad you asked that question. Whereas before, everything that you've attacked from hell has either turned into goo or exploded, this creature dies and lies there. Mm. So now you banish him for like... Or like they can't return up to a hundred years, or so I can't remember what it is. But I didn't know what happened if they actually die on hell. That brings us to food for worms, Harry. The food for worms, bearded devils. Let's see here. Uh, just a second. Sometimes roll twenty really bugs me. So <laughs> that one is gone so we'll just do this all right the other one attacks silas again hitting ac he, 16. he may bring the wrath of hell but with that roll he'll miss 16 very good he then steps over the body of his fallen comrade and his beard streaks out to try and grab you uh Jax. Oh, that's not very friendly. What? Oh, he's multitasking, this guy. He's ambitious. With a natural 20. Poor <sighs> so Jax. You take seven piercing damage. Uh, make a constitution saving throw, please. Jax, we've been in hell for like four minutes. Oh. Seven. You are poisoned. <laughs> oh. I love being poisoned. It happened to before. What was that many points? Seven. Yeah, seven points of piercing oh, damage. Okay, I use my reaction to half that. Okay. No. Right. Very good. Right. Um, the other bearded devil attacks Persephone. I'm getting Hitting AC up. 13 with her glaive. Does not hit. 24 with his beard. Definitely hits. 10 no. piercing damage. Please make a constitution saving throw. That 15. is a success. You are oh. not poisoned. And you said 10 damage? Mm-hmm. So he, he slashes back and forth with his glaive, and you manage to duck out of two of them, but one of the slices goes right close to your neck, and Lulu ducks down and says, Oh! <laughs> Everything is all right? <laughs> Everything is all right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that brings us to the top of the order with Jax. Okay. Um, I, 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 I uh, <laughs> front line there, Jack. Do I have How'd to make happen? another save? Um, you make it at the end of your turn. End of my, okay. I I try to hit him anyway. All right. So disadvantage. Uh, t t t t t twelve would be a miss. I take it. It is a miss. Okay. And then I disengage. Right, bonus action disengage. Sorry, Silas, I need to. I think I forgot something. Five, ten. 
15, 20, 25. Oh. I forgot to mention that on the end, at the end of that round, the lady and her children began to move towards the door. She is moving slow because she's carrying both of you. 18 on my con save. You have thrown off the poison. I'm better again. <laughs> Good. Do, do, do. Anything else there, Jade? Uh, no, I disengage. No. You're all done. That brings us to Typhon. Hmm. Persephone, you are. Are you a healthy type or is Ten a significant wound? I mean, it's not great, but I'm not scared. Okay. All right, you're not scared. I'll just keep holding in line here, and I will repeat my same thing. I will grasp for the one since it's right on his uh, I friend's anticip- body. I anticipated that oh. is 22 on his strength save. Oh, yeah, that's, oh. he is fine. Very good. Anything else there, Typhon? Uh, no, I'll just uh, stay here. Very good. Persephone. All right, I'm just going to... And then with my rapier and dagger again, here goes the Don't somewhat reuse. useless rapier. Oh, oh not this 21 time. 21 to hit, 7 piercing. Very nice. And see if my dagger betrays me. Yes, it did. 11 to hit. <clears throat> 11 is not a hit, but can you please describe this uh, rapier strike? Mm, yes. Um, I'm going to do like a descending strike, so uh, the it, it'll come with the point up from above and like jab down toward its throat. Very uh, cool. Scorpion's tail. Scorpion <laughs> tail. There you go. Very nice. Anything else for Stephanie? Nope. That's me. Uh, j- just Rings quickly. Uh, sorry, Tess. If, uh, did you see my message about the 3D dice? If just scroll up. You'll see it. Okay. Carry on. Uh, that brings us to Rim. If I were to take a look at what is in the fountain, that red liquid in the fountain, would that cause, or would that be my action? That would be your action. All right, then I'm just gonna try something without looking. Uh, I'm going to dip my arrow into the red liquid and uh, I'm going to shoot uh, this guy who's here next to Persephone. Hmm, Interesting. I don't, it may not do anything at all, but uh, you know, why not give it a shot? Uh, that's a natural one. Apparently, whatever is in the water really messed up your, your shot. Um, <laughs> and I keep forgetting that I have two uh, attack actions, which I did not take advantage of last turn. Cause Go for it. I'm a novice player who needs hints. Um, <laughs> uh, we're all having a good time. No problem. Uh, the 18. second one is 18. 18 is a hit. That is 11 points again of non magical nice. damage. Good to know. Anything else, Rim? Movement, bonus action? Um, They are, the, the kids and the mother are at the door, but not in the door. Is that correct? Yes. So, so let's see here. I'll make them more, this is more accurate to what is happening. She is about to go in the door at the end of this round. Um, okay. Then I will, uh, move one step closer and I will be guarding the door, um, when they move inside. That is my plan. Very good. That's right. We, we can eat them later. Rhea oh, can we not do that? Forward. <laughs> one of the toddlers looks over the shoulder of his mother at you as you say that. I'm as you're going in the door. Uh, Rhea steps forward and she's using her long sword two handed. With a hit. Hey. Got it. She swings mightily at this creature. Uh, hate math. Hate it. Okay. She managed to score two hits. Nice. One and two. And he yeah, looks down right. at his looks down at the uh, wounds. He's like, <laughs> Welcome to Avernus! Next up, we have Silas. I'm going to cut him. Cut him. Do it. Cut. Normal roll, DM. Uh, he is not restrained. Or anything else. 
or anything else. That's going to be a 10 to hit. Oh. 10 does not succeed. Anything else? Mm, that'll be it for me. All right. Falkron. All right. Uh, let's see if we can't finish this bastard. All right. So the uh, the devil in front of me is going to go ahead and get a Warhammer swung at him. And that will be hopefully something exciting. Ugh, 14. 14 is a hit. Yeah. Oh, nice. ah! oh, so 12 bludgeoning one handed damage from my magical hammer. Very nice. All right. Uh, and uh, hang on a second. 10, 20, 10. I'm sorry, I'm counting math. <laughs> Math's difficult. Clearly, I'm in hell. All right. So, <laughs> um, no, no. Uh, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and cast a uh, healing word mm. on, on Persephone. Uh, Thank you. So, roll that healing undamage. <laughs> and she takes uh, 10 uh, healing from my words of perfect. You got perfect. this. That's exactly Ooh. what I wanted. <laughs> got Love the cleric of life. Anything else? You're you're so good. All right. And uh, <laughs> nope, that's it. Poor old Jack right. with his Excellent. limbs hanging off. And... <laughs> now, I'm now it is I'm the bearded on devil's it, turn. The bearded, dev bearded devil attacks uh, Silas with his glaive. Glaive. Hitting AC 10. He attacks Rhea with his beard. AC 23. Uh it needs to make a con save. She succeeds. Nice. She takes that many damage. Okay. Back to the top of the round. Saha so, uh, Jax. Okay, I will obviously behind the fountain, can I sort of like duck down and hide and move around? Um Yeah, well, it'll depend on who you're trying to hide from. Um, where you're standing there, you have li the, 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 this, uh, this the, one here. That one. Yeah, you can hide from him there, definitely. Oh, good. I will move around and then try to hide. Show me that stealth roll. Shouldn't be a problem. Boom. 26. Yeah. Bam. You're good. And so I've moved 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And I'm gonna stick him with my needle. You have a plus one, plus one. Oh, yep, never mind. Yeah, plus one to the attack. Oh, 24 to hit. That oh, is a on. hit. No, 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 Come on, come on. Oh, okay. 25 to hit. That's a hit. Ooh. Oh, God, that is terrible. Oh, <sighs> it's more damage uh, than I do, buddy. Oh, my no. God. <laughs> That's uh, 13 damage. 13 damage. Very good. Oh, I do apologize. <laughs> and um... He looks down as you've sliced a major chunk out of his uh, out of his leg. Uh, Little pass! Anything oh. else there, Jax? I could dis I can't disengage, but I could move, but no. I think I'll stay there. Give Persephone. Uh... Mm -hmm. Persephone. Uh, excuse me, Typhonophagus. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. They look like they have this one. Well, both of them are pretty well. Um, I will slink back around here and right. attack of opportunity. Uh okay, because I keep forgetting. AC twenty? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Eight points of slashing. Where'd the to, where'd the attack of opportunity come from? He has a glaive. It's uh, a reach weapon. I just keep um, forgetting. Yeah. It's like a fool. And um Ooh. I will um You've been forgetting something. All right, never mind. What's up? Nothing, there's something I've been forgetting, but uh, I will take care of it for future combats. Okay. Do I need to make a con save? Um only if the beard is attacked, you Okay, cool. Um, I will then cast um, concentration on the spell. He means. Yeah, thank yeah. you for the reminder, Jax. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. You need to roll a concentration. You. you have failed, mm. and the thing vanishes. Earth and grass goes away. That was a con save. That's what we wanted, right? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So you have moved. You've yeah. taken the attack, and you are no longer concentrating. Indeed. What would you like to do? And behind this one, I would like to, um, I will cast Minor Illusion and the using the voice of the shield that I heard. Oh, good. We'll have it say, um, uh, um, about to be a soul coin. Pathetic. Interesting. Um, you're, you, this will be considered the help action. I was that's kind of what I was going for. Yeah, yeah. that will work. Mm -hmm. So you are using minor illusion to give the help action to the next attack. Sure. Yes, that'll work. Anything else, Siphon? Nope, that's it. All right, Persephone. How does help work? You have advantage on this attack. Awesome. Here comes that rapier. Oh. 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 What in the world just happened? Oh, okay. Nice. And I'll roll 15. again. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, 22 to hit with 10 damage. That is yeah. a hit. Excellent. Awesome. And I'm going to go with my dagger. Does that get advantage as well? Um, it does not. And we okay. are going to go with the first damage, I'm afraid. So you get you get to roll the two 20-siders, but you get the damage for the first one. So seven, seven damage then, and now a 20 to hit my dagger. That five piercing. Hit. Five piercing. Excellent. So 12 total. Yep. Ah! Ah! She goes to it like lightning. Indeed. Anything else? Uh, no. No. All right. That's Persephone done. Rim. I was thinking about the end of that line, which is, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ben Volio's line. That's fine. Uh, I will take... Uh, <laughs> Two attacks against the one against Persephone, uh, 14. All right. That is a hit. And 12, non-magical. Mm, yep. And my second attack. That is a hit. A 25 for another 10. The final blow is yours. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, I am going to aim for the beard and pierce his neck uh, through the snakes. <laughs> so the arrow comes streaking over the fountain. It goes right into his throat, and the, the tentacles of the beard all grasp around it and try desperately to pull it out, but eventually go limp and hang, and he falls forward, dropping his glaive. Um, with my movement, has the uh, woman and her children made it into the house yet? They have. Okay, I'm going to per uh, perch myself just at the entrance to the door, uh, mm. just in case. And that is the end of my turn. Very good. Uh, that brings us to Falkron. Take us home, Falkron. Oh, I would love to, but I believe it's Rhea. Yeah, yes, of course. Rhea. And <sighs> <laughs> lines up a strike to cut off his head. She has disadvantage, right? She's still poisoned? Yeah. Uh, no, she managed to make her saving throw. Oh, uh, okay. Drop right makes on. her two of cats with a hit. Nice. Okay. He is still up. Now, it is Silas's turn. I'm going to attack him with the glaive again. Straight roll. Whoa! Ho -ho! Natural 20. Nice. Fantastic. Time. Yeah. Yes. Magical damage. Let's see what that rolls up to. Ooh. Not bad. 17. Vital blow is yours, Silas. Nice. Um, swinging across with the glaive as I see Rhea miss. I uh, slide the glaive between Rhea and the bearded devil, turn it sideways, and come back towards myself with a slashing motion, cleaving off most of the beard in the process. Indeed. The uh, slimy parts of its beard fly all over the place as they all desperately try to come back to the mothership, but they fall 
dead. And he looks around confused for a second before his eyes go blank and he slumps and falls dead. Bye. That is the end of combat. Stab in this one. These don't look like imps. Let's just continue stabbing them. <laughs> They're imp kin, Jax. Let's retreat back to the house. Jeez. I say to Typhon as he comes back towards the house, um, now that the bodies are not goo, is there any chance you can extract poison from the snakes? Hmm. Jax, how are your wounds? I'm missing an arm. Two legs. <laughs> You're not missing an arm. Wait, is he missing an arm? I hide it behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> Jax, I can see you hiding your arm behind you can your tell back. He's, you can tell he's a bit bruised and bad, but he's... I've lost 16 hit points. That's, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, you bad. have. Come, it's not too bad. Uh, GM, is that on. something I could do or look at doing? Is it a... Um, you can try uh, with your poisoner's kit. Um, I do not bodies... have a poisoner's kit. I have alchemists, herbalists. I believe that at some point you received. Oh, a you're trick. right. I did. All right. So. Okay. I've got all it... the kits. <laughs> <laughs> Disguise, diplomacy. So, um, yeah, um, from the snakes, you may see the beard. If it's up, if there is any venom in the beard, um, let's see. Make a. Make a nature check and add your proficiency bonus. Can I help him okay. with that nature check? So this is going to be... I'm going to add three to this roll because okay. there's no way to do it, do it manually. Um, and Jax, yeah. are you proficient in... Um, nature, I am. In yeah. nature? Uh, uh, to, yes. Well, all right. I'll, we'll see what happens. Make an advantage. Uh, well, hello, rolls. Where, where have you been? Um, so it'll be a 25 total. That is enough. You are able to extract some poison. Nice. You have enough for mm -hmm. thirteen doses. Just divide two. by five of the skill check seems fair, right? No, <laughs> two, <laughs> two doses of poison um, uh, to be put into um, a uh, on a weapon or into something of some sort of. It has to be ingested or pierced. You believe. Mm. Um, and it requires a DC 12 constitution saving throw. Um, Rim is going to... They are poisoned. Gonna... If, 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 if they don't succeed, they are poisoned for one minute. Um, and uh, they cannot regain hit points. Oh. Typhon's like... Licks it a little bit. Like... Hmm. A little bit of a tag. It is, so what it is a potent one. What did Rim want to say? Uh, I went up to Persephone and I said, seeing as I'm more often away from the fray, perhaps Lulu would be safer under my cloak. Yes. I agree. I... You are big! You are big! You could come stand next to me. Don't ever <laughs> no. go stand next to the little one over there. Ever. She, climb, she climbs out of Persephone's uh, tunic and buzzes around her head a little bit and then flies over to you and hovers in front of your face and says, I do not know you. I do not know you. My name is Rim, and I will protect you. I know you. I am Lulu. I'm gonna oh, eat my it. Open. <laughs> Jax, <laughs> under no circumstances are you to eat the Lulu. I don't know if I can promise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> I know I, I can see that Jax is looking uh, more than a little beat up. How's everybody else? Has anyone else in need of healing? Is it, is it safe? It's safe. Uh, I mean, er. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Maybe you should just stay inside for now. Oh, no, it's, it's not safe. We, ha we have to get to the high hall. Some other I'm sorry. My name is Hakina. Hakina Hunt. These are my boys. So we're going to keep you safe, Arkina. You say we should get to the high hall. Are there other people? Actually, I, saw, I saw some other some other survivors a few days ago. They said that that people were going there. 
Well, it's good. Rhea, you were, you, you have the any, right of it. Does anyone have any food? Um, I will cast... I, Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> I will cast Goodberry. Um, and uh, I will offer her and her children each one berry. Mm, yes, they all take them gratefully and, and eat them. And... <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I, uh, I don't have anything to... I have these. And she pulls out a, a quiver that was um, strapped to her leg inside or um, ten arrows. Oh, I lost my bow. But I have these. Thank you. I will put them to good use. They are silvered. Ooh. Nice. Hmm. Well, like damn, that. Arkina. Does she have a plus one rapier, too? <laughs> <laughs> Strapped to her children. <laughs> yeah. I've been, I've been hiding in the basement of a tavern for days. But the food ran out, so we had to come up. I think that's true for a lot of people. Hmm. Do you think there's any more owl there? No, no, there's... Oh, it's a shame. What? What is that? He is our friend, and he is safe. That is Jax. He is the Imp Slayer, and very good at what he does. I am pretty good. Horrible things are everywhere. Be careful. Oh, imps. Oh. Are we talking about goblins? Because we all know goblins aren't. Aren't horrible. Yeah. Right, is, uh, guys, have you heard anything of High Overseer Krieg? I'm sure he's working to help everyone. I think it best that we make our way to the High Hall. Rhea says, don't hope for that. He's betrayed Alterel, all of its citizens. I killed him. I got him like a fish. Okay, what? okay. Uh, but nope, talk. Too mm. much, too much share. Too much share. Okay, let's get to the high hall. He is the reason that we're here. We're doomed. We're doomed. No, no. I said where where there is life, there is hope. <coughs> oh, okay. Everyone's feeling that, right? The floor, like the two toddlers begin to wail. She's like, "There, there, there, there. It'll be all right. Somehow." I will Hello. walk. I will walk over to the toddlers, and I will near kneel near them, and I will say, "What are your names?" My my name is 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 Ezo, Ezo, Ezo Hunt. I live on Seredet Street. And the other I one will... is just the other one's just. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will uh, offer to carry them. Uh, I will to to their mother uh, well, if she's coming. Make a persuasions check at disadvantage. Can anybody else help me with the persuasion? I will certain. I. I I will certainly. You reach out your clawed hands to the children. They grasp their mother, refusing to let go. And she's like, "I I sorry. I I know you mean well, but we've been through quite a lot." I understand. We should make haste. May we come with you? Please. Of course. Please. Thank you. Rhea, could you lead the way toward the high hall? Yes. Um, do we want to go to the nearer bridge or the further? We are just, we've just arrived. What do I you would, think would be safer? I, I'd have, honestly, have no idea. The, uh, no. The less suppose... ground we have to cross, I would think the safer. I said, I have a look. Is... I'm going to climb up high and have a look. Make a perception check. <laughs> uh, you are able to find a building that you can climb upon without too much trouble. With all the broken masonry, it 21. is... Very good. You do see the bridges she's talking about. And it's about a 20-minute walk or so from where you are. Um, the closer bridge seems to be closer. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Anderson. <laughs> 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 
when adjectives fail. Um, <laughs> however, <laughs> with the with the twenty one of reception roll, you see that there is apparently some gigantic fissure, a crevasse, that and the the city beyond it seems to be slightly higher than the city where you are now. Uh, looks like they're being connected by this one bridge that is close, and then you can see further away another bridge that is further. And the uh, you can see moving just barely in the distance some sort of white form. It is flying from the further bridge closer to the uh, closer bridge, and then as it arrives, it stops for a moment hovering and then slowly begins flying back to the other bridge. Have I got any idea what it could be? From this distance, you can't see it. It just looks white. And the fact that you can see it at all suggests that it's probably pretty big. I'll look down, put my glasses on so I look intelligent. We need to hurry up to the closest bridge. Because this Sean, place gonna... is going to be sinking. Sean, I'm going to pull my old Warhammer out of my bag and hand it to Arcana and say, do you know how to use one of these? No. Do you have anything else to defend your children with? I'll just hang near the back, I guess. Rayo steps forward and says, I'll protect them. All right. All right, off we go. So, uh... Let's do it. There's a you big begin white to thing. Make, begin to make your way towards what Rhea informs you is called Torm's Blade. I will scout as, in front. As you are walking, who has the stone with the face on it? I've Ryan. got the face stone. Oh, yeah. It the begins stone to piece. vibrate in your pocket. Have you got it on answer phone? Okay. <laughs> I, hello? <laughs> Very good. Hello? Oh, this is Cochran. Cochran? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Now, he this is a sending stone. 25 words. I hoped that forgot communicate this way, but listening probably answer questions, but sparingly. We are going to the High Hall. Do you think that a wise decision? Falcon, did you... Hmm. I think he bumped what? his head. What? Her head. Be careful what, what you send. Um, did that sound like a warning to anyone else? Listening... Ah, I see. Answer no, questions no, no. sparingly. Answer questions sparingly. Hmm. All right. Mm. Would, that, would that make any didn't... sense to that? what this item would be? Make it an intelligence make a, check. I'll make an arcana check. Arcana check. Does anyone else have the arcana skill? I... Or guidance? <laughs> oh, I have a negative in arcana. Do you have, gui <laughs> do you have guidance also? I'm I do. Just curious. Oh. I do. Yeah. You begin to see Typhon concentrate on the stone. Yeah. You realize he's doing something difficult. Um, the aid of Ilmater might be useful. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, call upon my guidance to be like, may, may you, may it be a light for you in dark oh, places. Light. Blow himself up again. So let's see. Let's see. Make that roll, please. All right. Doing the thing, making the roll. Uh, well, so you don't you don't have to roll. Uh, yeah. oh. Has... oh, oh, and then I just roll my d4. Yeah. So I've got yeah. a 14, and then 
Uh, well, 17. These are fairly common sending stones. Once mm. per day, you will be able to send someone a message, 25 words or less, and they will be able to respond with 25 words or less. Ah, okay. I was I was also sort of asking about his, what seemed ah, to be... Yes, of course. Um, and based on what uh, you managed to hear um, from the stone, you are correct. This seems to be a way to communicate with Corcoran back on the Prime Material Plane, but it is likely that other entities can hear the message. So, he's there to answer questions, but but be careful what you say. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, you still have more words. Play dumb and say we need to, that we changed our plans and we're heading towards the gate to see where we really are. Find high purchase in a tower, take a long rest, heal yeah. from the battle. By that, I meant we're going to head to the farthest bridge and find a spot to hide out. Careful. So that we may heal from the fight. <laughs> Corcoran. Goblin. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> are you? I, uh, we're fine. How are you? <laughs> All right. Never one was are. much for sending stones anyway. All right. <laughs> Show me you're going to have company. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And with that, you have lost the connection. So as you make your way to the west, Jax, uh, make a perception check. Perception. Fighting. Right. Mm. You see a group of strange purple-ish, mottly colored skin humanoids. Their limbs are a little too long and end in long black claws. And you see one look around and a long tongue comes swirling out of its mouth and goes back in its mouth. They look reasonably humanoid, except for the things I've just mentioned. They're wearing <laughs> clothes that are look like commoners clothes in fairly good condition. One of them is wearing armor. But they look like they're moving in a way as to not be seen. But okay. you did see them. I will duck down. We'll look back to the group and just tell them to like, put my hand up. All right. They look around. And they creep away and into a building. Opening the door and closing it behind them. I'll go back to the group. There's these humans with big tongues, purple looking, that have gone into this house. Does that description sound uh, familiar to me at all, Sean? Purple imps. Make a religion check. <laughs> uh, <May> I... Five. <laughs> Doesn't sound like any creature you've ever heard of. Because I've told you purple imps, you're thinking purple imps, purple imps, purple imps. Hmm. Purple imps. They what are they're sneaking. Shh. So, oh. Where did they go? Says Rhea. Oh, into a house. And I'll point. Ar see if I can. It... I, Arcania, did, have you experienced or, or seen these creatures while you've been traveling around the city? What did they look like? They got commoners' clothes on. Some of them have got armor. Uh, long tongues. Uh, they Jack, you said claws. Undead. I remember claws. Undead. Yes, everywhere. Wherever the lightning strikes, it creates undead from bodies. Oh, that's disgusting. Can't the opposite undead. of its original purpose. Interesting. She looks at you, and nods. All right. So. Um... I don't we know why they the got into the building, though. 
Shall I go and have a look? No, no. Let's move. There could be people in there. I think we would have heard. I don't know. Shall I go and have a look? We could at least check it out. Yes. Rhea, trust me. We will find the people in this town that need to be found. And trust me, if they are at any at all... If there are any left alive, we will find them like we found Arcania. Oh, However, our best bet of finding the most people is to get to High Hall. What about the ones who can't make it there? We I can't right. sweep the people whole like city. People like Arcania. We, we are, but we could at least look and see where we, on our way. You said we'd look on our way. Oh, look we will. Our, I'll sneak I want off. You, Rhea, I want you to look at her children and tell me, are you willing to risk their lives to search all of these buildings? We could just look. Why don't we Ask call you to out? search every building. Okay. Then on our way, we will search what we can, but we are not going to take unnecessary risks. We are not an army. Steve, come down here to watch the thing fall. No, we came to save Elturel. She looks around. Elturel, it's, it's people. It we is. have to save the people. Right, and we've got three of them with us right now. And we'll do what we can to save the rest. Yeah, everywhere we go, we will look. At each door we pass, we will look. But we cannot investigate every single nook and cranny. That would condemn us just as this city has been. But you have my word. If someone needs help, I'll be there with you. Indeed, Hellrider. Have you, you ever have seen us refuse help to somebody who needs it? No, you're right. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. We're having a hell of a day. Uh. Now it's a worse day. Yeah, rim, <laughs> rim snorts. <laughs> all right, uh, Jax, with that stealth check, you are able to make it to the building. Yeah, I just want to go and have a, a peer inside stealthily. All right. All the windows are broken. Uh, make a perception <laughs> check. Why is it not working? There we go. It's coming. Right. Twenty. There we go. So you creep to the edge of the building underneath a window, and you hear the sound of... <laughs> sound of flesh being ripped and torn with a 26 barely perceptible above the sound of hideous eating you hear whimper I'll scamper back there's definitely someone in there alive they need help let us go I start moving towards that direction very uh, well. They're, they're eating uh, bodies as well, the other ones. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that is what the undead do. All right. It's just everywhere. I don't need to be as descriptive as you're being right now, but I thank you for your insights. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, ways in. All right. Uh, oh, the window is um, all broken. So we're going to move you all to over there, and I'm going to, just a moment, gather all of your characters. There's quite a few of you, you know. Yes. 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 I'm quite the gaggle of good doers. <laughs> the snut goblin parade. Yes. Really? Really? <laughs> yep. None of the this. conscripted. None, none of that rubbish. We're snut goblins. Look. All right. I'm putting you here. And the ghasts move you saw them move this way uh Jax, and go into the building here and you cannot see where they are but you know that that's where they are um and the rest of you are coming from up here please move yourselves as you see fit okay so uh, can i can get raya up here with me okay can I see where windows are? Um, yes. One moment, please. I will draw some for you. Yeah, is there?
And then is there, yeah, is that the bigger one that, right there? That's the that, door, Sean? That's the door, yep. Fantastic. And the walls of this building are barely standing, so there are numerous gaps. The windows, of course, are completely open, but the uh, the walls, uh, somebody small or somebody strong could probably get through them without too much trouble. Uh, let's just make sure enough of this is all revealed. Everybody can see. Great. Okay. So, Rhea takes a step to move with you, Silas, and then looks back at the other three and says, I'm going to protect them. And she steps back and stands looking like she is going to guard the Hakina and her sons Excellent. while this is happening. Well done, Hellrider. Oop. And Lulu is with Rim. We will roll initiative. What? Can I um, of stealth before initiative? Uh, sure. Yeah. Well, um, I would be in front of these guys as I addressed everyone. Uh, Do you all wish to sneak up? Yes. Yeah. Well, then everybody no. roll a stealth check. No. You're not sneaking up, Silas. Okay. Uh, 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 I, I am. Uh, I am. I am not sneaking up as well. All right. Well, then, never mind. No. Rim does not have a choice. <laughs> My Correct. stealth check went great, and I never so, get good stealth. Persephone, check. Persephone's like, oh, all right, carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Just come running forward. Excellent. Let me get them on the board. And just for the heck of it, we'll get Rhea on there as well. Okay. One moment, folks. So there's a question, right? Are these are these ghouls? Are these ghasts? Are they <gasps> ghast demon things? Um, it's a ghast. <gasps> I am a gog. I am a ghast. No, all right. So belay uh, that meta talk. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Look, Everyone well, set? Oh. Yeah. Great. The top of the round we have Typhonophagus. All right. I will um hmm, uh, pluck a scale from under my sleeve and place it on the back of um uh Silas and say Protesis. And uh, green energy will flash around him, and I will say, "Go without fear, fighter." And um, you will have protection from good and evil, or evil and good. All right. Um, does that require concentration? It does. You are concentrating. I can mark my, uh, my mark one for me. Okay, I can do that too. Doubly concentrating. <laughs> 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 All right. Anything else for you, Typhon? Um, that's, I'm going to move 5, 10, 15, 20. See if I can get a, any sight in these. Uh, make a perception check. I, I cannot do so as an action. I was just, yeah, that's a good point. It's, yeah. it's up to you. How you uh, want to oh, that. reveal. Sure. Trying to change the action or change yeah. my perspective. You were able to see that. And you, you see one of the guests kind of looking up and it looks like he's got part of a partially eaten hand in its mouth. And he's looking up towards the sound that it hears of the coming attack. Are you done? Um, I will yell in their direction as well, knowing Jack's communicated there was a whimpering inside. Yeah, mm -hmm. I assume that's why we charged. Um, 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 I was a fresher food out here, you ugly thing. Interesting. Very good. That brings us to Persephone. I am going to move forward, and this uh, this is the door, yes? Yes, the larger one. Um, and I am going to, well, I guess I'll be right here. Uh, I'm going to ready my ready in action for rapier and dagger attack uh, for somebody to come out. You can ready your rapier attack. Uh, not my bonus. And then mm -hmm. I will ready my rapier attack. Very good. Anything else? Silas. I advance. Moving forward. 5, 10, 15, 20. 
and the description that you said the doors and windows were barely hanging on, right? Mm -hmm. I kick the crap out of the door, just kick right through it. All right, um, shock and awe. I will, I will uh, allow you a free athletics check. Typhus because didn't the, tell me to go without fear. Not, not that I have any. The door is barely on, but it will require a roll. Roll of twenty-four. The door flies from its hinges lands on the floor and you can see inside the room i'm hoping that that would count as a it free is, action with flare. yes that that <laughs> that counts as a free action <laughs> um, otherwise i'm screwed <laughs> the um the roof of this building is completely gone it's open to the elements um although the roof in the back part of the building seems to be intact so any more movement um no, I'm just going to stab something from there. Very good. I'm going to mm. stab purple. Purple. Because they were described as being purple. So Indeed. With a two hit roll of uh, just a 24. All right. That is a hit. Uh, rolling 12 points of magic damage. All right. They're purple people. Slashing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! You brought that Looks one on yourself, so good to me. <laughs> did, wait, uh, did Typhon? Did you just give him a thorough tongue lashing? <laughs> ha ha ha! That ba -da, was requested by someone in the uh, gallery. Oh. <laughs> um, are you done, Silas? Uh, I'm actually gonna stand there in the doorway as a human barricade. So, yep, I'm done. All right. Um, that brings us to Jax. Um, looking at this building, it looks like this may be sort of some damaged hole in the wall. Mm hmm Yeah, you definitely can find such a, such a yeah. hole. Okay, I will 5, 10, 15, lean around the corner, completely hidden to him, I'm assuming, with a 24 stealth. 20... Mm -hmm. Yep, 24 I stealth is good a, enough. Yeah, it was 24 stealth. And I'll try and take away his uh, hamstrings. Give it a shot. Oh, here we go. I don't know why I rolled a short bow, but that's a 13. I'm just going to click it again. Well, you couldn't very well roll a tall bow, could you there, Shorty? And a 19. The 19 hits. Okay, hang on. Let me just... I'm just going to... Because I rolled the wrong one. I'm just going to click this and then click on the damage. Uh, da, 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 da. Damage for stealth. For a 17... Stealthed damage. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then I disengage. Run away. Hey, run away. Very good. Brings us to Rim. All right. I am going to uh, run south 20 feet. Um, and I have three attacks on my first turn. Do I have a clear line of sight to purple here? You do, through the broken window. Excellent. All right, here. Crush him. I'm going to try. Attack number one. That's a hit. And... Three. Very Ten. nice. Very nice. Is he still up? He is still up. Dagnabbit, attack number two. That does not hit. Ah, oh. and my third one, which does have the potential for uh, some bonus ouch ouchies, is the Gloomstalker. That is a hit. All right. So that is another 10. <laughs> I... It oh, falls okay, over good. Did. Uh, I will stay right there and uh, keep myself ready for people coming out of the wall. That one was the one wearing armor. Oh, nice. Anything else? So you're done? All right. The ghasts go. He's gone. He died. He died. Okay. This one <laughs> comes up to attack you, Silas. This one leaps out of the window to attack Rim. <laughs> this other one runs away and is not seen. Oh, no. All right, let's do some attacks here. 
Is blue... That's where he is. Hitting AC 11? Against two. Against si- I'm sorry, against Silas? No. Miss. And it claws you with 21. Hit. Is he hitting him through the door? The door is gone. He kicked I, it. I kicked the door down, so yeah. Right, but, but he, I see. So even at the corner, so I'm, I just can't get at my, him with my ready to action, right? Yeah, without reach, you would not be able to, I'm afraid. Okay. Um, the claws hit you for 13 points of slashing damage. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. 13 is enough. Good gracious almighty. Let me just tabulate that damage and a constitution saving throw. Yes, please. I think I clicked the right button. Indeed, you did. I made a 12. Ooh. You are fine. Ooh. The one attacking Rim attacks with a bite. AC 6. Fail. Claws. AC 17. Ah. Nine points of slashing damage. Make a constitution saving throw. That is not a good saving throw for me. Oh, oh. Wow. you're fine. Woo. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Sean, how many points? Uh, nine. Thank you. That brings us to Rhea. Rhea stands fast. Brings us to Falkron. Oh, come on. We can take him. All right. So uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 puts me there. Indeed it does. And I'm going to go ahead and use Quietus. Ah. Cut down this some of bitch. So rolling. <laughs> And that is a, come on, 26 to hit. Yes. Yeah, it's a hit. Yes, awesome. Okay, so that's seven uh, one-handed slashing damage, but he is an undead. So he I is get an indeed. Ex, an extra D8 to add to that. Bonus ouchies. Bonus ouchies. Rim, indeed. TM, copyright. There it is. All right. Very good. So So that will be 11 damage to him. As you strike with Quietus, as it moves through the air, it begins to glow in anticipation. And there's a... (laughs) That echoes loudly. Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And the ghoul falls dead. Nice. (gasps) I thought it was called Quietus, not Shoutist. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, I love this thing. All right. So, uh, and then as he collapses dead, I am then going to, well, so that was there, five, 10, 15, 20. And then I'm going to take, and then Sean, can I move into the building? Is that because there was a hole or that whatever the. Uh, there is a window there. Um, you don't have enough movement left to climb into the. Uh, okay. Well, how many you moved? One, two. So I got I got five feet left. You got five feet left. Make, make, an, make a check to make go in ath- <laughs> Make an athletics check uh, at oh. disadvantage. Oh, I, I love it. I love. I, want, I want to see Falkron's little legs dangling. Half that's what you, 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 that's that's what you want to do. Oh. If that's what you want to do, if you want to try and take the last five feet of your movement to just barrel in through the window. Oh, oh absolutely. Push. All right. The dice. The dice tell a story. Don't, right, don't, ac- don't tell the elf. Ac- acrobatics or yeah. athletics. Uh, acro uh, athletics. <laughs> Dwarfs uh, can't do acrobatics. Really I mean, you can make it if you want to do acrobatics. You can. No, I really appreciate the option. No problem. There. All right. So there's my first roll, and there's my second roll, and so the first one was a six. Ooh, oh, I got no. a feel- oh, I got a feeling wow. that's going to be the one. And All then right. here's the second one, which is a. Five! <laughs> oh. Natural one fail. So, I need a little action figure of a dwarf so I can oh do Oh my god. You Ooh. swing oh, it quite as... <laughs> You're like, ha ha! And you turn around and... Ha! And you run right into the wall and just... Fall prone. Right. Uh, <laughs> oh man. So you are prone. You're right. The dice tell a story. They tell a story. <laughs> Um, that brings <laughs> us to the top of the round, Typhon. Okay, I'll move to here. And is there, um, can I do I have pretty good line of sight here or here since there's no door anymore? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll allow it. That's fine. Okay, I was just thinking, or if I didn't know if going down there would be a view here, so um, but 
with with that, I will use the Ring of the Scorpion. Ooh. Scorpion-like tail to lash out um, to attack. Um, nine, I don't think it's going to do it. Though. Nine is not going to do it. All right, that'll be so it. So the smoky tendrils of um, grasping hands extend from the ring, and they reach out. But just as they're about to grab, the ghoul is ducking and weaving while it fights, and it grabs empty air. That brings us to... Persephone. All right, I'm gonna shoot a crossbow bolt at right. Blue there. Okay. Yep. You're good. And fourteen to hit. Uh, that is a hit. Yes. Ooh. Four piercing damage. Big fat four piercing damage. Non magical. Eat it. <laughs> 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 And wraps around, wraps around the bolt and pulls it out and drops it. Uh, that, I'll get that back. anything else, Persephone? No, that's me. All right, uh, Silas, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. I can do that, aren't I? Protection from good and evil somehow. You are, uh, that oh. may, gives you disadvantages when they attack you. Oh, well, I tried. Um, I rolled a natural one for my all right. save. As you are standing there, this horrible stench begins to roll over you, and it goes in your nose, and it feel you feel it almost creeping down your throat, and your bile begins to rise. Um, you are poisoned until the start of its next turn. Succeed. Guess was yeah. Until the beginning of your next turn, you are poisoned. Excuse me. Okay. And what does that do to me? As far you're as poisoned, you have you have a uh, disadvantage on pretty much all of your attack rolls, all of your saves, all of your skill checks. Okay. Um, but you may still attack. Is it in fact my turn? Um, it is in fact your turn. Then I shall attack. That would be with a disadvantage. I, th I think, what does it say that we're so conditioned to say, like, magic damage, not magic damage? That's the only thing we care about. What does that say about what we've been fighting for the past whatever <laughs> sessions? Uh, a natural one with disadvantage. Again, is not a hit, I'm afraid. And I'm going to throw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> throw up in my mouth a little bit more as a bonus action <laughs> <laughs> and Love then it. I'm done <laughs> alright that brings us to Jax um, Jax will move over here to the window to 5, 10, 15 obviously I can't see I don't know if you can move, remove the black uh, yes of course I can and with my passive of 19 do I hear the other one scattering off um, in the midst of combat, it's very difficult. It's going to need an actual roll, um, which would be your action. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, oh, wait a minute. They're not being stealthy. No, you do hear with your with your passive is so high. You do hear them. Right. Uh, other creatures coming. I will move to the corner. Oh, oh, oh. What do One I see? moment as I reveal them to you. What do my goblin L1 I see? They're coming for shout us. Oh. Let them come. I will peer around and shoot that one there. Does he does he know I'm there or did you roll the stealth check? I didn't, no. No. Um, then as you turn as you turn the corner to shoot, he will be looking right at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've still got five foot of movement, so I'll move back to there and mm -hmm. shoot this one. Who is All right, it? through who the window. It? Who is engaged. He is. With a 23 to hit. That is a hit. For 24 damage. Woo! Wow! Uh, eh. <laughs> non magical. Okay. Non magical. 
So it was 24? Yeah. Okay, got it. Is he dead? He is not. Oh. Oh. Ah. I don't Dang know. It. I disengage, come running around the corner, like, there's more coming! <clears throat> and stand next to Typhon. You're right, mate. <laughs> All right, Jack. Rim. All right. Um, Persef- uh, uh, um, Lulu is hanging on your shoulder and says, I can help! Uh, as long as you stay safe. Okay! Can you help. <laughs> Oh, she geez. flies up into the air. Persephone sees that happen and looks at Rim like this. That's <laughs> you see Rim look absolutely panicked. <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> I am never giving you the fairy ever again. <laughs> All right, she takes off. She moves incredibly fast. She has a speed, a flying speed of one hundred and it's ridiculous, like one hundred and twenty. What? Damn. Yeah, 120 feet is her fly speed. So she just <laughs> disappears. Shit. Whoa. Okay. Well, uh, I am going to I'm going to ha- keep half of an eye out for her to return. All right. But I'm going to move uh, to. Uh, I assume there are holes in the wall, correct? There are. There's the window that Falcon <laughs> is lying at the window going. Oh. <laughs> uh, but if you wanted to, it would be possible to just. Break through the masonry. Um, would that be my action? It would. Okay, then uh, I'm going to not do that. I'm actually going to shoot blue here. All right. Um, there, there is, there are gaps in the wall, so it is possible. But I'm going to have it at disadvantage because it's not ideal. Oh, so wait, no, no, no. That one, it's going. He's, he has cover. That's what he's got. Cover. Okay. Well, there's, uh, there's a window though that you can shoot through. So. Which uh, which Falcon is right in front of. Um, well, Falcon, yeah, well, you you could yeah he's he's prone. You could shoot through the window. Yeah. Oh okay, sure. all right. I'll, well yeah. then I'll do that. I, can I do that from this space, or do I have to move into her square? I would say if you stood here. Okay, it'd be much so more easy. five feet. Uh, attack number one. Mm, that is a hit. All right. Click, darn you. Nine. Nine. It falls. Ah, all right. Um, I cannot see. Is the red one not visible? Um, not without a perception check, which you will not be able to use since you used your action to attack. Okay. Um, with the remainder of my movement, can I uh, help Falcon through the window? Um, again, that would be an action. An action. Okay, yeah. then I will... Uh... Uh, I'll use the rest of my movement to uh, come around the building then. Uh, so 25 feet. One. Oh, goodness gracious. Rim will be Girls. coming Two, around the building three, four, when he comes. Five. Rim will be coming around the building when he comes. That is my. Right. That is the end of my turn. Very good. The guests go. One, two, three, four, five. The strange, Six. unidentified, undead things with long arms and big tongues will go. <laughs> ah. Stinky breaths. It's the Halitosis crew. This one will use all of its movement to move to there. No! All right. What? One attacks you. Hitting AC 11 with its bite. That is a miss. AC 16 with its claws. That is my AC. Make a constitution (laughs) saving throw, please. (sighs) That hurts me exactly. (laughs) You're fine. Okay, good. But please take 10 points of slashing. Okay, this is starting to hurt quite a bit. The other one. Remember you have Mm -hmm. that healing potion. You can never put it back in your... The only one can't do anything, so it's going to use its double, just double its movement and move to here to flank you. But we don't have flanking, so. Rhea continues to be on, well. No, oh, he's right there. Rhea's going to attack him two handed. Two strikes, two hits. Uh. Straight away! All right. 
Good. That is her done. That brings us to Falkron. Excellent. Uh, all right. So, uh, per, per my last adventure, I'm prone. Mm hmm. All right. So, that's half my movement to stand up. Yes. Yep. All right. Lovely. Um, uh, I'm going to, so I'm going to stand up in the building. Can, is that possible, Sean? Or am I like, uh, so as part of your standing up, you sort of put a hand up on the building and you crawl into it. You can kind of flop onto the floor right there. That's fine. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as graceful as ever. <clears throat> and you right. see uh, two dead, re-dead, awful-looking, purple-skinned creatures with long claws, tongues lolling out. All right. Um, with uh, do, uh, is there any sign of like non-undead things, like the the source of the whimpering that we may have heard, or anything? Make like a perception that? check. Lovely. Thank you. Uh, I wish to perceive. And I roll a 19. Nice. You notice that there are many cabinets and um, such things on this side of the building. Uh, if somewhere were hiding, that would probably be a good place. Where? So, I'm sorry, did, did, did you ping it? I missed it. I did. It. Did it not show up? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, yes. It did. It did. It did. Okay, awesome sauce. So, uh, I am going to... Take, so, like, seeing the dead gas, I was like, well, they're doing a damn fine job with those things. Uh, I'm going to attempt to move towards the cabinets. Okay. And, and say hello. So you've got um, 15 feet of movement? Yeah, 5, 10, and then 15. As you come in here, you notice that the, on the table appear to be uh, the bodies of a man, a woman, and a small boy who have just been ripped to pieces. A martyr guide them. Is anyone alive? You don't hear anything. Anything else, Falcon? Nope, that'll be it. Is anyone All alive right. out there? Can, Can anybody anyone hear, hear me? me? Bring Streaking out from out of the sky comes Lulu. She pulls up short right above Jax. It goes. <laughs> and a blast of sparkly energy comes out of her trunk. Jax, you little... I take an attack of opportunity. junk in her trunk. I take an attack of opportunity. It scatters over everybody. But, as it hits you, it does no damage. It just lands on you and sparkles and feels kind of nice, actually. The ghasts, however, are horribly damaged by this. Make some saving throws, please. Sparkle booty. Sparkle booty. This call that she made, it echoed very, very loudly. It sounds, you could hear it echoing from buildings across the square that you are currently in. So we're just not making stealth checks this game. That's just right out. Apparently. Let's yeah. see here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. As soon as I pulled out thunderous. So that is what they did. Not so we just need a couple thunder waves here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's just go, go ham. Let's just go like, all out. Yeah. Might as well just dress in neon clothes. Yeah. We All are right. not so, from hell. Yeah, <laughs> Persephone, sing us a jaunty tune. Yeah. <laughs> is it D6? Is it D8? 5D6. It's a bunch. Nope, 48s. That's a good range, too. He should, uh, I don't know. Is, he, is, is, is Lulu a female? It's a she? She? It? They, them, I feel. They, what? them, they, them. Yeah. The, uh, All righty. Lulu is Lulu. Not very yeah. good. Yeah, the, well, I mean. All right. So, all of them failed. Nice. All right. Well, and they scream as the spark, the little sparkles land on them. They do not care for it. Yeah. At all. I mean, because once you get them on you, you just can't get them yeah. off. That's the glitter, man. <laughs> the herpes of the craft world. Right? <laughs> <laughs> 
Right. That is Lulu done. Back to the top. Sorry, it's been so long. Right. No, no. Um, Typhon of Pygus. Oh, didn't, oh okay. didn't get an attack of opportunity. <laughs> it's not close enough for the attack of opportunity, and, Jags. Um, let's see. Where was I? I forgot. I should measure this out beforehand. All right. Um, I'll move to here and bring the scorpion at this one. Try and pull it a little further away. All right. Uh, We'll have a. I'm afraid a nine. Oh, I it twice, yeah. I'm afraid right. a nine does not succeed. Alrighty, all right. I'll just go back in here. All right. <laughs> um, Persephone. All right. Uh, I'm going to um, move up to in between this boy and this undead mm -hmm. now i'm going to attack um blue with my rapier dagger there's a rapier 24 to hit that's a hit eight piercing dagger is 19 to hit that is a hit four piercing very good and then i say lulu be careful stay away from jacks Okay. Who's Jax? Little one. Uh, I swear um, I'm Jax. <laughs> okay. Um, that brings us to... unless Anything else there? Nope, that's okay. it. Okay. That brings us to Silas. I uh, look at Falkrin and I yell, is there anyone in there? I, I can't find anyone. Then I turn. You are no longer poisoned. Oh, goody. Then I turn, and I'm going to attack... Uh, let's go with blue. Very good. And since he's flanked, I get, like, double advantage. Wait, no, no, no. This, uh, <laughs> I'm going to roll a 15 to hit. That is a hit. All right. I'm doing slashing damage of not too awful much, but just seven. Very good. You managed to cleave off one of its arms. <laughs> its tongue is lashing around in frustration and anger. And then I'm done. All right. Jax, uh, make a constitution saving throw. That's not very friendly. Natural 20. Nice. The stench nice. of this creature rolls over you. It's lovely. You smelled worse. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you've eaten worse. It smells like Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> that is the line so far of the hour. I will move five foot up and stabby stabby. It. Do -do -do. Come on, another natural 20. Oh. That is a hit. 17. 17 is a hit, yeah. For 18 oh. damage. You slay it, Slayer. Got one. You did. <clears throat> Why am I not able to click on it? Oh, there it is. Back at it. Boop. That brings us to Rim. Rim, I would like uh, you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, why? <laughs> Because they're stinky. Yes. Nice. Hey, natural 20. Fantastic. Nice. The smell <laughs> washes over you. That's so good. I've been spending too much time with Jax. Yeah, smells just like it. <laughs> All right. You have allergies. It's all stuffed up. You're fine. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm going to uh, retract my claws, and I'm going to claw at this red one here. Um, hitting 17. That is a hit. Eight. Very good. Um, and if I were to move away, that would be an attack of opportunity, right? I'm going to stay where I am. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Rhea made her saving throw, so she no longer has to. She attacks. Come on, Rhea. It's one hit. 
Uh, got it. Whoop. She slices off the leg of one of this one. On this one. It's